Before we get to the future, let's talk about this moment in time. You've seen so many transitions, Web 1.0, 2.0. Reed, we'll start with you. Give us just a few minutes on what like this moment in technology means to you. Well, um, I think the key thing is that w- technology is always the way that we evolve as human beings. It's part of the phrase I use is homo techne. And when you look at the Industrial Revolution, it was physical superpowers. It was superpowers of construction, uh, superpowers of, of motion um, and transport. Now we're going to have cognitive superpowers. And it's part of the kind of amplification intelligence. And I think that the notion of how um, we will nav- be navigating the world within five to 10 years, um, we will all navigate a variety of things in our lives, work, certain life choices, other kinds of things, with an entourage of agents. It won't be just one agent. It would be multiple agents. And part of the reason why you'll be doing multiple agents is because the uh, part of how we keep our human agency and everything else, as opposed to saying, because the, the usual, you know, to borrow from the movie, the idiocracy uh, thing is like, oh, I sit on the couch and I listen to my agent. It makes all the decisions. Actually, in fact, the I think what we'll have is, uh, part of what you can already see in the in these agents is that they're very good at taking roles. And what we'll say is what set of roles, what cabinet of of experts do I want in my navigating my life or in this particular problem? And I will be able to call them up and I will have that in everything that I'm doing. And part of I think what's stunning about this moment is we are small n number of years away from I mean, we can do it now, but we're a small in number of years where that's kind of like what everybody will be doing. I think that's a good vision. This is probably back to your question. It's probably the second time in my life where I've been enraptured with what technology can do for us. The first was when the internet first came around and I thought about back with radical long haired Nick, who was you know, focused on trying to bring democracy to repressive countries in the world. There, there was a sense back then that this would bring about freedom and democracy in the world. And, you know, to some degree that was realized and to some degree it was not. But that was a moment where I loved it. And now I have a moment where I'm incredibly excited because of the possibility of learning. And, you know, you go into journalism and the reason I chose this career because of a sense of curiosity and a sense of how exciting it is to go out and to try to learn something new, right? And to like reset your mind, begin a new story, begin a new thing. And the capacity to learn with these agents or however the system works in the future, but being able to be in constant conversation to have a device that can help you, you know, sort through all the swaths of information in the world is incredibly exciting. And the idea that my children will go into this world with the ability to, you know, learn languages so many times faster with, you know, a personal tutor who can teach them all that and process so much more information than they possibly could before is quite exciting. 